Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Front Mission First. Let's continue, shall we? This will probably be the last video <laughs> of this campaign, at least anyway, because we're on the final mission, so it could be a long one, but that's all right. Let's move. Now, the rub of this mission... <gasps> I've said too much. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll leave the... Uh, the stuff to happen. I mean, this mission is actually, like, unbelievably easy, and I put that down to pretty much the fact that you can bring every single unit into combat here. It's a little bit silly, a little bit fun. We liked that in the last mission. you got to have a little bit of fun for your final encounter, haven't you? Now, you do want to spread your guys out here, because you can, and will, get gridlocked on these uh, not, like pretty tight um, paths here. I don't know what they really are. I don't know where we are. I assume we're above some massive reactor or something, but that's okay. Pee-wee, uh, I guess Pee-wee can just advance with some of these dudes. Now, Sakata, he is in some prototype big fan dabby doozy mech of um, his uh, company's design but that's n oh see here we're gonna have the trouble because these guys are gonna either have to push up here or here and then they're gonna get congested with them uh, definitely almost have like too many units here let's push these guys up through you guys can push this way, I suppose. But you're still gonna kind of get in the way. Fire donkey! Yep, that'll work. That will work. Alright, everybody can just jam up. Because... You know, we've got so many mechs now, like, we can just win through numbers. We'll just start volleying uh, missiles at the enemy. It doesn't even matter. I'm not even mad that that missile missed, to be honest. Like, probably good for them, you know, give them another bit of a chance. Like, you know. Well, you know, it'd be nice if maybe one out of a thousand missiles hits. Just saying. No? Okay. Alright. I guess I've learnt something here. I don't know what I've learnt. Really? Everybody just missed that. Everyone. Not one missile hit. Okay, RNG. Okay. That's fine. Whoa. That stung. Ah, that's true, actually. We've got a lot of our um, <clears throat> B team in the combat this time. Which admittedly would explain a thing or two. But that's okay. They're still full, like wheat before the scythe. As I said, just due to sheer numbers, like there's not really any kind of way they can clap back at us. I mean, I guess the secret's going to be out in a minute, but there is, like, a main unit that we have to fight. A, uh, Skynet, if you will. But just sheer volume of fire that we have at our disposal renders it completely... Ooh! Non-threatening. Gregorio might go down, though. Oh, he's armless! Ah, no, Gregorio, no, move, damn it, move, you're out again, my friend, totally out, well, that's okay, we've still got, like, 17 or 16 mechs left, as you can see, though, their wanzas this time aren't useless, I mean, they're not top tier, well, I suppose, actually, for this game, they are top tier, but, you know, 
They certainly can mess you up if you're not careful. Yeah, we can see that giant robot in the middle, which is the S device. What could that be? Surely it's not going to be something, like, insane. Considering the B device was something akin to a brain in a jar, uh, connected to, like, a computer. I mean, that was mad. So the S device, which is even more, like, mental than that, well, you shall see. It's, um, certainly something. That's for sure. It's like Resident Evil levels of comic silliness. And that sounds like that sounds like a detriment, but it's not. It's it's kind of awesome. It's um, you know, back when games were I suppose no other way to say it than just back when they were fun. With these silly, crazy plots and these um, just amazingly evil villains, which we see less and less of them these days. This is fine. Ooh, now you're gonna have a bad time. Let's get that uh, MG going. There we go. Right, Paul. You want a uh, shot at greatness? There you go. Not that there was a lot of that guy left, to be honest. Okay. Now, does anybody need repairs? I'm pretty sure somebody at least needs repairs. And this game... Ha oh, yeah. Molly was really banged up. Let's get Molly fixed up. This game has some really fantastic music. It really does. Uh, go for kill shots. Like, we don't care anymore about experience or things like that. And they've got some pretty durable hull designs as well. Which you would expect this late into the game. Purunga! Purunga's time to shine. Yeehin? Get Yeehin in here. He can at least lob a missile. Well, okay. Ralph, can you do much better? I'm going to guess maybe not. But we'll give him a chance. No. Ah, Gents. The whole reason we're here in the first place. Gents. That I'm arming you with the best, most sophisticated, most fantabulous equipment in existence and you fail me so not many of them left now alright we're gonna go straight up and attack the big dog go for the body switch go for the body yeah a thousand XP huh. Hold your fire! I had no choice. They made me do it. Kochi, why did you kill father? Ryuji, please help me, brother. Who is they? The Zaftrans. They forced me to create the B device. They needed the income to rebuild their broken nation. And they used Huffman as their testing ground. Ah. That is more than sufficient. Time to die. Oof. Driscoll is at the heart of this. Because, of course he is. He is now, like, melded in this machine. This massive husk. Now, I'm assuming, eventually, uh, this thing isn't quite finished. I'm guessing eventually they're going to build legs and stuff so he can move. Because, to be honest, I don't get how he's much of a threat in that. I'm, you know, <laughs> you're going to see what I mean. Um, throw a missile at this guy. Dead center. 
Natalie, I do expect better from you. I give the other guys a free pass because they're, well, maybe not on your level, but Nat. Come on, Nat. Keith! These guys must have a really high dodge, which is probably what it is. But it's still funny. Body shot. <laughs> yep. Ineffective. Body shot. Ineffective. These are very expensive missiles. Probably. Uh, Paul. You know what, Paul? Go around that side. Alda, go around that side as well. Getting a little bit congested over here. Uh, yep. It's fine. Now, Molly, uh, you can continue. Just actually, Molly, go mess these guys up. I know you can do it. You've got the hunger for it. Well, almost anyway. Bobby. See what you can do, Bobby. Alright. Okay, there we go. Not bad, Bobby. Not bad. You, sir, win a chocolate egg. Because it's Easter. So, eggs all round, I guess. Now, Harunga, make it happen. There we go. Now, Yihin, we're going to want everybody to spread out as much as they possibly can here. Uh, Gents, actually, Gents, you can come over here. You can have a nice, proper front row seat. Pee Wee, well, you can just hang back. Alright. So, we're going to make a move in, and I guess we better suck down a repair kit. Ryuji, you're in good spirits. Actually, Ryuji can move straight in. Natalie can also move pretty much straight in. And Keith. Now, I don't know really what this guy's attack range is. It was never an issue when I was playing this myself. Off cam. I don't... I've got... I've, I don't want to say for sure... But I don't think he actually hit me. Like once. So. I, I can't tell you. But I guess we're going to find out. I don't know whether we were just using. Super long range missiles or what. But. It was kind of sad in a way. Now. You would assume. That he has control of this whole square. But, as you can see, he doesn't. Um, there we go. Now we're in range. Donkey! Ho! I like the way they've made it look like some weird metal, like, monstrosity. That voice. No. It can't be. Driscoll! Yes, Royd. It's me. And I must thank you. After you defeated me, I became the first S device subject. I have returned in a mortal form. The S device? This was the answer, Royd, merging a human brain with a Wanza's CPU to create the ultimate killing machine. This project's success will restore the motherland to its rightful place on top of the world. It's not worth it. What? How many lives is this worth? How can you justify everything that's happened on Hoffman? The sole reason all those soldiers fought and died is for this abomination I see in front of me. Then their souls will never be redeemed. You have to die, Driscoll, for their sake and the rest of the world. You would never understand, Royd. Come, let us settle this once and for all. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, like, how this thing is supposed to redeem anything. I pass, but, you know, that's typical, like, 90s video game 101. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, like, as long as we stay here on this line, like, he can't 
even attack us. So... Yeah, it's a bit strange. So I don't know how the S device exactly is different to the B device. I guess the S device, you're still conscious and you know what's going on. Whereas the B device, you, you literally have your brain harvested um, and used for nefarious means. Maybe he can't attack. Like, I don't know, man. Is that what it is? He has no attack? He must do, surely. I'm kind of confused at the whole situation. It's just a really strangely anticlimactic fight. But, the st from a story standpoint, uh, standpoint, it's fantastic. But, yeah, it's just weird. Right, okay. You know what? Finish him off. Not bad, Ryuji. Not bad. Driscoll. I told you, I am immortal. You cannot hope to stop me, Royd. Is that so? Well. So basically, when you kill him, he just comes out, pops out in his Wanza. Which is cool, I guess. So I guess that thing that he's in is just like a giant mech that he can control within his Wanza. Not really sure. But I'm guessing he cannot actually leave his Wanza. But as you can see, he's nothing special. <laughs> Do you think you've won? You and I are mere pawns on the chessboard of destiny. This will not change anything. I did what I had to do to stop this nightmare. Huffman deserves far better than the likes of you. It will never end. Huffman may have been spared today, but someday, somewhere, the cycle will begin anew. You cannot hope to stop all of them, Roy. Right. <laughs> I can sure as hell try. Roy. Captain. Set and sentry charges. Burn this place down. What, do we have those in our wanzas? Okay. That is a weird looking helicopter. This morning, Director General uh, Meld Meldersky of the Peace Meditation Organization announced that a Huffman Island terrorist group called the Spirit of Huffman were responsible for yesterday's explosion on Long Grievers Island. Located 30 miles offshore from the city of Fort Mondas, this island was the location of the group's secret headquarters. It is currently believed that the explosion was caused by a bomb used by the terrorists to commit mass suicide. The Director General also proclaimed that the elimination of this terrorist group was a great achievement for the PMO. He believes this will finally bring peace and stability to Huffman Island. Mm hmm. Looks like they're still spinning their bullshit. But, it doesn't matter. Victory was achieved. And what does he mean the cycle will begin anew? It's over. Where are the others? They've probably gone back to their previous lives. Fighting's the only thing I'm good at. I guess I'll try to find someone who'd hire me in Africa. I got all the money I need from this war. I'm going back to my family in Africa. Good man. I'm not like you, Keith. I don't need to kill to make a living. 
harsh, but okay. Huh, a bit harsh on your old partner, aren't you? What the hell? Maybe I'll go visit this family of yours. Now that sounds like a better plan. It was fun, guys. This is a really cool scene. Family. Too many things have happened ever since I left mine. Too much fighting. Too much loss. I I think I think I need time to sort everything out. Captain, this is where we part ways, I'm afraid. Goodbye, Captain. I'm worried about my father. Many will view his actions as acts of treason. He may already have been sent to the mainland. I must go find him. Goodbye, Royd. Uh, unlike the others, I have no other life, Miss That. All I can do is make Huffman a safe place for us to live in. Royd, you and I are much alike. Join me, and there'll be nothing the two of us can't do. I can't. There's something I want. Oh, something I need to do first. Six months later, an article by war correspondent Frederick Lancaster appeared on the front page of Daily Freedom. It described heretofore untold events that occurred during the Second Hoffman Conflict and the subsequent Longivers Island explosion. The article was an immediate sensation and the public demanded an investigation of the events it described. Buckling to growing international pressure, the UCS and the OCU governments admitted that a portion of the reported content was indeed factual. Immediately after the publication of the article, Director General Meltsky Melf resigned from his post at the Peacekeepers Meditation Organization. The Republic of Zaftra, however, continues to deny any alleged involvement in the Second Huffman Conflict. In the preface of his novel, Sovereign Island, Lancaster writes, I dedicate this book to the men and women of the Canyon Crows. This is their true story, a story of rage and sorrow. A few of them still fight on Huffman to make the island a sovereign nation free of all national and racial prejudices. I send them my prayers and hope that their dream will be fulfilled. I also hope this book will help their plight reach the hearts of the people around the world. Frederick Lancaster And there we go. So, Roy decides to burn his Wanza, which has the brain of Karen in it, setting her free. Hopefully. And hopefully not a miserably painful death. That makes me, makes me wonder, like, are they still aware? Was there a brain in a machine? I don't know. 
And that's front mission first, guys. Um, it's it's kind of a bare bones remaster, but <sighs> when you take it down to its grassroots, it is a good game. It's a fantastic game. And I would say it's probably my first proper introduction into the uh, Front Mission series. And I'm on board. That was great. Uh, I was kind of surprised by the really, really dark story uh, undertones. I didn't expect them. I thought the story was going to be a lot more just like, you know, some Call of Duty script with mechs, you know. Uh, them versus us, blah, 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 blah. But it was all oh, so much deeper than that. And it had some really cool characters as well. Fantastic music. Um, and I think the remade uh, or the remixed music actually is really good. It's, it's very similar and very faithful to the original. Because I did play the original on my uh, 3DS. And... Um, yeah, I, go, I can't really fault it. I just, I wish, I wish they had put just a little bit more into this remake. A few choice of, um, well, quality of life improvements would have gone a long way. But as it stands, it's still worth a playthrough. Now, we still have another campaign to play through, which is a little bit, and I do mean like just a tiny little bit shorter than the main campaign. However, I haven't played through that myself yet. I did start it, and man, it's harder. It's so much harder. <laughs> so that's going to take me a little while to get through. So hopefully, if I can finish it in time, um, we are going to... Obviously, we will do the second campaign. But hopefully we're going to do it like straight after this video. We're just going to keep it going. But that depends how well I get on with it. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Front Mission 2. Never played it. Don't know anything about it. Gonna probably enjoy it. Uh, Front Mission 3 is obviously the remake that I really, really want. Uh, I cannot bloody wait for that. Um, that's probably one of my most anticipated games on the horizon. So that's going to be fun. Um, I do have the front mission on the 360, uh, which is like that third person uh, shooter. I'm trying to find it on my shelf. I've got all these 360 games looking at me. Uh, well, it's there somewhere. So we will also play that at one point because I played like the first 10, 15 minutes. No, more than that. I probably played like the first hour of it and I had a good time with it. You know, it was good fun. It was not this at all. It was way more like kind of like fast paced third person action mech combat. But, you know, for what it was, it's cool. And I'm going to, you know, Play it and enjoy it. Eventually that will be on my channel as well. Um, probably this year at some point. Maybe. Um, but we'll see how we go anyway. Voice one. The information was correct. Those trucks. Their cargo. Yes. They're not going to leave this island anytime soon. We'll see about that. They're here! Terrorists, sir! They took the bait. They haven't the slightest clue that we're the ones who leaked their intel. Move the Wanzas out. <gasps> it's a trap. What do we do? Huh. There's only two of them. Drop them. It's over. 
<laughs> what was that? Hey, why wasn't I invited to this party? Yeah, I didn't get the memo either. I realized I left too many things unresolved on this island, Captain. I've come to fight for myself and my family. You can't do this alone, Royd. Yehin and I agreed that we couldn't forget about Huffman. Yes, I won't let other people be used like I was. Damn it, call for reinforcements. Good luck trying. I've jammed long range communications for a five click radius. Information wins wars. Royd, you didn't forget that, did you? Hey, anyone need a repair truck? I've got munchies too. Now we fight. For those who have died on Huffman. And for those who live on Huffman. Canyon grows. Forward. Yep. Nice little bit. Anyway, we get some cool stuff for like a new game plus. This game has quite a lot of cool stuff for a new game plus, by the way. And um, from what I can understand, like the more you actually complete it, the more cool stuff that you do actually unlock. So that's cool, you know. Uh, you get weapons, you get some new wanzas, you get some mobile weapons that you can use. Which is always nice to see. Um, so maybe at some point down the line, I will probably play this again. Probably on the Switch 2 or 10, whatever we're going to get next. Or whatever Nintendo does. You never know what Nintendo's going to do next. Could be a fucking butt plug for all we know. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you know. But there we have it. Front mission first. Um, I am going to start playing the second campaign. And as soon as I've personally completed it, I will start uploading it and recording it and blah, 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 blah. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I have. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, till next time.